what up guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel so in today's video we are gonna do some meal prepping so come on bombinos everybody let's go This is one of the meals that I'm prepping. This is going to be some mock beef. This is walnuts. It already soaked for a little over 24 hours. It's gonna be a Korean, Korean barbecue beef type situation. Instead of rice, we're gonna have quinoa and I'm gonna boil the quinoa in coconut milk just to give it more flavor. Then it's gonna have a sauce on there. This recipe is somewhat from this guy that I saw. I'm gonna tag his video. He made like a sriracha lemon mayo type of sauce. So that's gonna make that. And then it's also gonna be like a um, cucumber and carrot salad to go with it as well. But I'm gonna make that the day of when we actually eat it, if that makes sense. So let's get started. <laughs> now yes this is a lot i am actually going to store some for a later time like i'm gonna freeze it hopefully it's okay so we're gonna use that and then we're also gonna use mushrooms um i found this recipe from someone on youtube as well i'm gonna link it or post her on the screen somewhere and down in the description box so yeah she mixed both walnuts and mushrooms together use the food processor and yeah kind of just go from here i'm gonna kind of tweak it my way in a way but inspiration is from her um what do i want to do first let's do the walnuts first get it out the way And that's how it looks. Obviously, once you cook it up, it's gonna look even better. I've made um, walnut meat before a long time ago. I just didn't film it. And it turned out pretty good. I made, um, follow the camera, follow me. I made uh, crunch wraps with it. The only thing is I didn't, I feel like I didn't soak it long enough because it was still kind of crunchy. But supposedly it's like, it's not gonna get super soft. The videos that I've watched, so it's okay. It's just like, it's not gonna taste like beef. It's just a substitute alternative. All right, here is the mushrooms on top. I just did the same thing. It looks pretty similar, kind of. <laughs> so just gonna mix that up and then we're gonna cook it up so i'm not gonna season it like heavily um i'm just gonna put like the basic seasonings and then save some so that way when i want to use it i could season it however i want to season it the lady that i watched she did it too and that makes sense so that way you don't have the same flavor over and over you could switch it up a little if you want i got two pots going one here and one over there You don't have to put it in the oven. She put it in the oven, so I'm gonna try it in the oven. <laughs> it gives it, I guess, like a more like crumble effect. Kind of makes it a little more chunkier, I think, or something. I don't know. We gonna see. To me, it actually tastes really good. Like a nice alternative to meat. It doesn't taste like meat. It does not taste like meat, but it's a nice substitute. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I like it. This sauce, I got this from Publix. It actually has basically everything in it that I'm supposed to put in it with the recipe that I found. So I'm just gonna use this and just a few other things. And yeah, go from there. I probably could have skipped the step on this batch of cooking it in the oven, but I do feel like it gave it more color. This looks like guardian crumbles and um, guardian crumbles and morning star crumbles. I'm at the stage of recording and vlogging where I think that I pressed record and I actually didn't press record. And it makes me mad. Cause it's like, the heck, that was supposed to be on camera. Just look at that. This looks like some ground beef. So now with these, being that we're putting like a salad type situation on here, the cucumber salad, I'm not gonna put it on here since we're gonna warm it up in the microwave. Um, I'm just put it on there tomorrow when we have it for dinner, as well as the sauce. So the next meal, so it's kind of gonna be like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So this is gonna be a lunch option or we can have it for dinner, whichever way we wanna choose it, however you wanna have it. This is gonna be a sesame ginger type of salad. We got this tofu from Sprouts and it's actually soy free. First time trying it, hopefully it's good. I've seen someone on Instagram try it and I was like, ooh, okay. They actually had the regular one, but Sprouts only had the Sriracha one available. So that's the fan. Sorry if you hear it, I'm sorry. It's hot. I add some tomatoes, some feta cheese, obviously the tofu for him. And then I'm probably gonna put um, some sliced turkey on mine. This is what I'm gonna make for breakfast. Some good old oatmeal. I'm only making two portions. One for me, one for him. Um, I was gonna do two each, but we don't eat breakfast like that. This has been my new way of making oatmeal. Let me tell you, it is so freaking good. I don't want my oatmeal made any other way besides using this in it. This takes it to another level. I forgot to mention that I like to put it in the food processor just to give it like a creamier texture. So I just do it a few times. Not a lot. Like, that's it.
hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I gave you meal ideas for the week. This was my first time actually meal prepping for like multiple days, so bear with me. There will be more meal prepping videos in the future, so stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my vibe, go ahead and subscribe and I shall see you in the next video. Peace, love, and happiness. There will be more meal prepping videos. Ugh. There will be more meal prepping.